in the celebration, the trophy presentation, the naming of the finals MVP. It's all ahead as the Lakers win the 2020 champion. And this just into Sports Center. Woj and Ramona Shelburne reporting the Warriors apparently tried to convince the Lakers to part with LeBron James on the eve of last week's trade deadline. The Warriors apparently had a full deal ready. It was encouraged by Draymond Green, but LeBron's agent Rich Paul put the kibosh to it. The Warriors could revisit this all again in the offseason as James holds a $51.4 million player option. Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, Jerry West, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. The Lakers franchise began in 1947. The Los Angeles Lakers would win the NBA title in 1949, 1950, 1952, 1953, 1954, 1972, 1980, 1982, 1985, 1987, 1988, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2009, 2010, and 2020. Historically, the Lakers are a franchise of streaks, repeats, three-peats, dominations, dynasties. They get these teams that they trade for, and most of the time they draft, and then move some pieces around, and they just go on these, these two, three, four, five, six, seven year spans of being in the finals and winning finals. To make it quite basic, being a Laker means so much more than just average basketball. It's greatness embodied. It's the NBA. The logo was literally a Laker. Wearing the purple and gold is a representation of NBA history. And if you're not gonna fight and bleed and be ready to die for it, then Lakers fans don't really want you on their team. We've got breaking news. LeBron is a Laker. LeBron James is a Los Angeles Laker for what ought to occupy the final act of his NBA story. Four year, $154 million, a max deal. When LeBron got traded to the Lakers, it was really a strange feeling. I just couldn't grasp Los Angeles Lakers fans cheering for LeBron James. I mean, could you imagine the 1980s Lakers fans cheering for Larry Bird as a Laker? Absolutely not. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is sports. This is competition. Some lines are not to be crossed. But five years ago, the Lakers went ahead and crossed those lines and brought LeBron James over to wear the purple and gold. And to be fair, they did win a championship, one championship. But after that one championship, it was all downhill. And by 2021, the Lakers were a playing team. The Twilight Zone had entered the NBA and LeBron James began to make excuses. Trade after trade was made, and the Lakers began hemorrhaging both draft picks and young talent. Coach after coach was swapped, yet all we seemed to get were more of LeBron's excuses, Anthony Davis' excuses, why they couldn't win. While this is not new for LeBron, as he did this with the Cavaliers, he also did this with the Heat. I just never expected an organization like the Lakers to just bow down and let one player have so much control and disorganize their franchise so much. It's so embarrassing to Lakers nation. When you think about all the greats, I mean, hell, even Shaq got traded, but you're gonna let the GM, the Mickey Mouse man, the bubble championship MVP ruin your entire franchise and disgrace the purple and gold? This sets the tempo for the rest of the NBA. And I think the Lakers and the Lakers fans and Laker nation as a whole is finally tired of it. And the crazy thing is, LeBron is finally going to have to eat a trade destination that is not of his choosing. And guess what? The Lakers are not drafting Bronny James. And while I know that there will always be some NBA team willing to risk it all for a 40-year-old LeBron James and a kid out of USC who barely belongs in a Division I uniform, I really just don't see LeBron getting his way anymore. This is the end of LeBron getting to be the coach. This is the end of LeBron getting to be the GM. This is the end of LeBron running the show. You were given the keys, you were given all the opportunities, and you proved you couldn't get it done. And you know, to be honest, I really believe that this is the last time we'll ever see any player get to just say, hey, move him here, move that there, I don't want this coach. I no more players playing GM. It's over. And I'm thankful for that. And I think it's great for basketball. You guys tell me what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!